Hello, second grade. This is Miss Keeley. Um, just want to start off by saying that you all have been doing a really great job on this sea turtle project. I know that giving this project to you was a bit of a challenge. It is a little bit harder than ones that we've done in class. So I just want to kind of um, acknowledge that you guys have been doing a really great job. Okay. Today's step is the last step of this project. And some of you might have already done parts of this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of explain it as best as I can. And hopefully you can kind of make some accommodations at home. Um, so if you look at the screen right now, you'll see a little message that says add bubbles to the background. If you're somebody who added something already in the background, a lot of you liked to write little messages or things on the outside of your paper. The adding the bubbles is an option, okay? You don't need to. Um, if you would like to, what you would do is you would draw a circle and then you need to add a little highlight inside. It's just like a little curved rectangle like that. And you can make them all different sizes. I practiced first before I actually drew it. Um, and you can draw your bubbles in whatever color or however you want on your background. The space all around the outside of your turtle. Um, my plan when we were in class is that we were going to use a white oil pastel like I have on my paper here and we would have painted over it. Um, obviously, um, this is not, we're not in my class with these materials, but if you happen to have these type of art materials at home, oil pastel kind of works the same as crayons. So if you have white crayons and you do have watercolor paint and you want to paint your background and your turtle, you can definitely do that. Okay. Um, so I'm just kind of filling in. You can't see it because I'm drawing in white, but I'm making all those different size bubbles and I'm filling them in as best as I can. Um, I'm going to fast forward this because we can't really see what's going on, but I'm kind of going all around the outside of my sea turtle. Okay. Um, and so then the next thing, you, oh, let's try to restart this. Sometimes this happens. Pattern. Second grade. I'm going to jump forward a little bit. Um, so as you can see, I'm taking some watercolor paint. If you have watercolor paint, obviously you can choose to paint your turtle. I'm thinking that not everyone has watercolor paints at home. So if you don't, you can just use color pencils would work. Markers might work. Crayons could work. We don't really want to ruin your pattern that you created, though. So I think color pencils would work best. Um, but obviously if you have paint, go for it. And I'm just kind of painting over those different patterns. And because it was made with oil pastel or even crayon, it just kind of slides off the side of it. All right. And so I'm going to fast forward and I was just taking my time to fill them in. And then I'm going to start to work on the background once I have most of my, um, my whole turtle painted. And you can see that the bubbles are showing up in the background. Um, but again, if you don't have watercolor paint or oil pastel, you can just draw your bubbles. Um, I mean, you don't have to even draw the bubbles if you don't want to. It's an option. Um, so you can choose to do it or you could choose not to. And then, um, yeah, I just painted. I didn't paint the whole thing in this video because I didn't want it to kind of go on forever. But I would have kept painting the whole thing so it looked like it was floating in water. All right. This will be the last step. And I know some of you might have already colored in your turtle, which is totally fine. You're just ahead of the game. Um, I do need to see a picture of this finished project. But moving forward, I won't need to see a picture until the very end of projects. OK, um, I hope you guys have fun. Feel free to email me if you have any questions about what you should do with your project. And I will try my best to help you out. Um, but I will chat with you guys next week. All right.